how it works is that you go on the website, uh, willnotbuy.org, and then you post uh, anything unethical or seemingly unethical, right, about a company or about a situation that you think a company is behind, right? So you go and post it, and you can say, you can go to the general talk, and you can say, let's say, for instance, there's uh, something that's getting passed, some bill that's getting passed, that you know there's a private interest behind it. You post that bill, or you post whatever, and you say, here's the likely private interest behind it. And then from those, you kind of like funnel out, well, these are the ones that we actually have a consumer power over. So that's awesome. That's awesome. So I'm sure you heard about like the CCA meeting that, was, that they were doing for the... Um, anti-encampment uh, ordinance. They oh, were having an ordinance oh, uh, yeah. meeting oh, to kick us out. Oh, so uh, we had a whole uh, boycott against that and oh, whatnot. Okay. But this whole Black Friday thing like goes hand in hand with what you know you want to avoid yeah. because it's like if you, we get information about like Walmart, Target and yeah. like all of these other now big companies and yeah. stuff you know we can we can have rally more people yeah. with us you know through your website and through occupy yeah, i think there's definitely stuff. already enough information on walmart to know exactly. that it's an evil place exactly. never go there exactly yeah. people should already know this information yeah. anyways but the more we inform people the more people will ra- want to rally up and come join us on that day yeah, yeah, you know because there's different locations that i'm that we're planning right now and we want people to come and yeah, boycott totally. these places so know? the thing about like the strategy or for real quick, yeah. um is that I'll, we I'll choose, let's say there's multiple companies that have so the same ethical out. problem. Right. Right. We focus on right. one right. and be really successful at that one mm-hmm. and send that as a message to the rest of them cool. and, and then move on there later if right. that's still a problem. So, so like, yeah, Walmart there. and Target might be right. having the same problems. So we'll just choose one, or at least to get the, the mass all at the same place. Right. Um, It'll be like, target at this location. All the other ones are doing it too, but we gotta... Right, right, I totally agree. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what I was trying to talk to you about with the group. Where they get them mess, from uh, emails. And I'm calls. wanting to start a subcommittee to plan this and have a clear consensus of which main place that we want to go and occupy, oh, yeah. which is definitely probably going to be Wall Street, yeah. but there's going to be uh, multiple occupations at different companies that we're going to go and yeah. protest yeah. against. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, like, for example, Walmart would be great, because if we get a lot of people going to boycott Walmart, boycott Walmart, yeah. it'll be awesome. That'll be something that you can, if you want, post on your, uh, yeah. on your page. You yeah, know? totally. I think they allow camping. They allow they RV legal. camping. It's legal. Do they, they allow tents there? Yes. That's people can live at the, the Walmart, people can then. live at the parking lot. Where's the nearest Walmart? What is Let's the, go. Uh, ben, <laughs> what is the son's <laughs> name? Uh, that guy's name that he's like the son of the owner of Walmart, and he lived in the parking lot. Well, Sam, Sam Walton was the owner. I don't know what the son's name was, but what it is is Walmart has a ruling that because Sam Walton's son had uh, some mental problems apparently, and. Um, decided he was going to live on the street. Sam Walton decided all Walmart and Sam's Club's parking lots would be open for people to camp in openly because he always wanted a place, a safe place for his son and other street kids to be able to go and, and sleep or in other street people to be able to go and sleep and not be bothered. Yeah. So, you know, nice. and yeah. occupying, you know, those places, those places is perfectly, perfectly legal. legal. Yeah. So, if we get that information, which I'm sure not, probably not a lot of people know about. Personally, I want someone Spanish to go talk to the migrant workers who stand outside of Home Depot and all these other yeah, places. Yeah, to go and, and get protest. them That to would protest. be amazing. That's Fuck an yeah. awesome idea, dude. There's a lot of them out there. Yeah. I see them every day. They're outside the paint store in Van Nuys every fucking day religiously. Yep. I don't know how they survive, but there's at least 60 of them there starting in the morning every day. 